Hello, welcome to CSC Sports. This is a special edition of CSC Sports. This is the Super Bowl edition. And I want to start off by congratulating the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers. But before we get started, I want you guys to go to my new website that's C, not CSC Sports, I'm sorry. It's jhoward.tv. I have everything on this website. I have my comedy, my sports, my show, um, the event with Jay Howard. I have a lot of stuff, my music, everything you can name is on this site. It's jhoward.tv. Go there, check it out, and answer the poll questions I have on each page. Let's get started. Um, I want to know who you guys got, you know, for the Super Bowl. This 2013 Super Bowl is going to be very interesting. We have two brothers coaching against each other for the first time in NFL history. We have the Harbaugh brothers. We have Jim and John Harbaugh. John Harbaugh's coach of the Baltimore Ravens. Jim, San Francisco 49ers. Let's break down on who we think is going to win. You know what I mean? We're going to do this together. And at the end, tell me who you got. I already know who I have. That's when we get started. <laughs> Check this out. Let's go with the quarterbacks. We got Colin Kaepernick and we have Joe Flacco. We have um, a veteran, five, six year guy. And we have a, I think it's a second year, the first year, you know, getting some playing time really. When I look at the two, Joe Flacco is finding himself in the NFL, yes, with that deep ball. Colin Kaepernick has had some outstanding games, you know, throughout this season. You know, he can run, he's big, he's strong, he has a good, strong arm on him. But I have to favor Joe Flacco in this matchup. I think Joe Flacco has the pieces that fit his strength. And his strength is throwing the deep ball. He have guys that can go get it like Torrey Smith and Corn Bolden. And he has for his backup plan in case he can't find anything long to find something short. He has Dennis Pitta. On the other hand, Colin Kaepernick, he got Randy Moss. He got... um. Michael Crabtree, and he has Vernon Davis. And I think that's a nice core, but I think Joe Flacco core is better. I think um, Flacco's receivers and him have a better marriage than um, Crabtree and Kaepernick, even though it's starting to come around, but it's not consistent. So I'm going to favor the quarterback in the passing game. I'm going to favor that to Baltimore. Let's go to the running game. You got... LaMichael James and Frank Gore, you have another side, you have Ray Rice and Bernard Pierce. Well, this is the wild card for me. Bernard Pierce is starting to make some noise. You saw him in the Patriots game. We saw what we already know what Frank Gore can do. We know we starting to see the multi-talented uh, LaMichael James, and we know Ray Rice is a flat out dog. It's kind of more like a tie in this department, in my opinion. But the good thing about it in the Ravens, from the Ravens' perspective, they can pass the ball better, so they'll be able to run better. You know what I mean? But on the other side, the 49ers side, they have a quarterback in Colin Kaepernick that can run. You get what I'm saying? So you kind of want to favor statistically. You want to favor the 49ers. They're probably going to get more yards. But I think the more efficient running game is going to come from Baltimore. Trust me on this. So I'm going to call it a wash with that. Let's go over to defense. We know the Ravens have always been prided on defense. They have always been prided on defense. Over the years, they have been falling off a little bit, getting up in age. Their stars have been getting hurt. And they have an older cast. 49ers, though. 49ers got Patrick Willis, Deshaun Ghost, and Carlos Rogers, and both of the Smith boys, Justin and Alden Smith. Alden Smith is a flat-out beast, and Patrick Willis. You know, I think when it comes to stopping the run, especially, I'm going to go with the 49ers all day with that because they can do that well. The Ravens had a notorious, vicious, tenacious defense a couple of years ago, but it's been aging. But when you look at the savviness and the hunger of these guys getting into the championship game, being sent home by New England to finally get over the hump. Ray's talking about he's going to retire next year. I think that Ray Lewis and his bunch can step up to the plate for one more game. I'm going to give the defense, though, especially against the run, I'm going to give that to the 49ers, though. I'm going to give that to the 49ers. Let's talk about defending the pass. As you saw in that Atlanta game, that um, Ryan, Matt Ryan, was able to throw deep balls. Julio Jones was shredding the secondary. He was. He had like 100 yards in the first quarter. When you go over to Ed Reed and um, 
Bernard Pollard, these guys, they, they are ball hawks. They are tenacious and savvy. They're not the fastest bunch anymore, but they're savvy, hard hitters. I think that looking at what Flacco did to the Patriots with their deep ball and what he's been doing in the playoffs, you got to think. Let's talk. We left out something. Joe Flacco had to go through the Colts, Broncos, and Patriots. Andrew Luck, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. Having the luxury of winning, you know what I mean, only have to play two games. Uh, Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers had to go through Aaron Rodgers and, and, and Matt Ryan. And when I look at being able to throw that deep ball, Flacco, has, is, he's been heating up. I mean, the Ravens have lost some games. You say, damn, is Flacco a good quarterback? But now he has found his strength. He's like, I can throw this deep ball, and I'm going to keep throwing it until you stop it. I'm going to favor more. I'm going to give I'm going to give this a slight edge. I'm going to get a secondary to the Ravens. I think the Ravens secondary is a little bit better. I think they're more savvier, and I think savviness in a playoff game means everything. I'm going to give that to the Ravens. Let's go off to special teams. We got a Jacoby Jones, and he's a receiver also for the Ravens. And we have a Michael James, and we have um, Ted Ginn Jr. I don't know if he's hurt or he's playing, but we saw throughout the playoffs. Both of these two guys I just named can run the ball back and get you good field position. I think uh, out of the two, I think Jacoby um, Jones has been in the league a little bit longer. Like I said, I got a favor in a game like this. I don't think he's going to have the nervousness. I think he he's more in tune with what they are playing for than like Michael James. I think what the Ravens have in their corner we have been here before. We wanted to get back and finally get back. I think Jacoby Jones, in my opinion, is going to have more yardage as far as returns than LaMichael James. I really do. I think that I will have to favor the Ravens in that department, too. I think that the Ravens are on a mission. Last but not least, I want to talk about the kicking game. You got Justin Tucker. You got David Akers. David Akers is a legend, the kid with the golden foot. He's just like Vinatieri and a lot of the guys that kicked the ball uh, for a long time and, and just did an outstanding job in the NFL. But of late, we don't know if he's yet the age is catching up with him or he's just fatiguing, but he has been missing some chip shots. I'm going to take Justin Tucker in this department also because I think that, like I told you, what the Ravens have to play for, they, I think everybody's on all cylinders. I just hate to say it. I think everybody's on all cylinders. Last but not least, I'm going to go with the coaches. Again, I'm going to reiterate on this. Um, when I look at John Harbaugh and I look at his plight to get there, he's been close a numerous amount of times. And I look at Jim Harbaugh being a player that was a, a, a catch away in one game to go into the Super Bowl. You know, and he's been there before. I think that when you look at um, John and Jim, they're similar. They come from, uh, their father was a coach and they, they know the game of football. But I think Jim has a lot of catching up to do and he has a long way to go far as getting his guys to say, hey, this works all the time. Do it. He's going to have to have some growing pains. He came right in winning. He has to have some learning pains. That one um, box play last year wasn't enough. He's going against his older brother with a more a, a more passionate team that wants to win. You know what I mean? They have been at the door so many times. I'm going to favor um, John in this also because I think John, um, his plight to get there, and I think his guys are willing to die for him. I think Jim, is he's starting to get those guys like that, but it's going to take about four or five years before they be willing to die for him on the field. So I'm going to go with John. And my pick for the 2013 Super Bowl will be the Baltimore Ravens. The score will be 20 to 17. I am Jay Howard, and I want to know your thoughts on the Super Bowl, 2013 Super Bowl. Peace from CSC Sports.